This video will cover basic model editing and geo splicing. In order to begin editing, you must first open a model. To do this, go to War 3 Model Editor, Windows, MPQ Browser, File, War3.mpq, down to Units, Human. For the purposes of this video, we will be modifying the footman. Double click the model, File, Save as, footman.mdx. Now go to MDLVIS, File, Open, and open the model you just exported. To rotate your camera, press the middle mouse button, or this button up here, and left click and drag. To zoom in and out, roll your mouse wheel. Right click and drag to move the camera. To toggle into textured view, press F. Now what we are going to do here, is we're going to remove the footman's shield. Left click on the button up here, work mode, or press A. Now, hold down left shift, and left click and drag over the polygons of his shield. Now we're going to delete the shield by pressing delete, or this button over here. You will notice that not all of the shield was deleted when we did that. That is because the shield is comprised of two different geosets. Each geoset is a different part of the model that uses a different texture. Like so. In order to delete the rest of the shield, highlight the associated geoset, select any remaining polygons, and press delete. With the shield gone, you may notice that his arm looks wrong. This is because you were never intended to see the hand up close. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will replace the lower quality arm with the higher quality one opposite. Left shift and left click and drag over the polygons of the old arm. Press F to toggle into wireframe view for an easier look. Now hold down left shift again and left click on this triangle on the inside. This will select only the polygons that are associated with this triangle. Now with middle mouse button, we're going to rotate the camera and finish selecting the arm. Be sure to click on each individual triangle as you do this. You don't want to miss a piece. Press F again and press delete. Now for the other arm. Right now our workspace is too cluttered because of the presence of the sword. What we're going to do now is select the sword And over on the right hand side, we will press this button. This will detach our selection as a new geoset. Uncheck Show All. And now our workspace is a lot cleaner. Once again, hold down left shift and left click on each of the polygons. Now press Ctrl C to copy your selection and Ctrl V to paste. You now have two left hands. Over to this button right here or press Q to move. Select the ZX axis. Hold down left shift and then left click and drag up to realign the arm. Click the YZ axis, hold down left shift and left click and drag to the right and press this button right here to mirror the vertices you've selected. And now press this button here. This will fix any inward facing polygons. Go back to YZ and make sure your selection is as close as possible to the original arm. Once the arm is close enough to the original, left click and drag over each area where the two models intersect. Now use the magnifying glass tool located over here, the quick key is Z for this, and left click and drag left. This will knit your selection together without welding it. This is important. Repeat this process for the remaining two connectors. You may have noticed the hole in the arm right here. This is because I didn't select the entire arm when moving it over. Left click on the missing piece, Control C, Control V, raise it up, move it over, holding shift of course, reverse, reverse, and done. Now knit the missing piece in with the rest of the selection. Now our footman has two matching hands. Next we are going to give him another sword. Press A or click the work mode button up here. Over here, find the geoset that has the sword. Right here. Left click and drag to select the entire sword. Control C, Control V. Once again, shift, left click and drag up on the ZX axis. YZ axis, left click and drag left. Back to ZX, reverse, and inverse. And there you go. Now we have a footman with two swords. In order to simplify the model a bit, we're going to select the water skin and the sheathed sword and delete both of these. There we go. Go to Modules, Sequence Editor. If you go up here to All Line, and select Stand 1, 
you will notice there's something wrong with his new arm and sword. Something very wrong. This is because both the new arm and the sword are both using the bones on the other arm. So if this one flexes up or down, the one on the other side will move only in accordance to that. To fix this, go to Bones, select the geo set that the arm is associated with. Now we're going to click on this bone, shift and left click over all of the polygons of the new arm, and press this button here to bind them. Now do this again for the sword. Press A, left click and drag, select the arm, and bind. Now the next time we check out the animation, he's holding it properly. Well, it's still attached to him now. That's an improvement. Now we will go over geo splicing. Save your model and close it. Go back to War 3 Model Editor, Windows, MPQ Browser, File, War 3 MPQ, Units, Creeps, and scroll down to Human Mage. Double click on humanmage.mdx. Now hold down left control and left click on his head. This will cause his entire geoset to flash black. Now go to Windows, Geoset Manager, right click the highlighted geoset, Export, give it a recognizable name, and save. We're going to do the same thing for his cape as well. Now go back to the MPQ browser, left control and left click on her crown, right click the geoset, export, and save. Now go to Recent Files, Footman, go to Windows, Geoset Manager, right click in the empty space and press Import. Now import each and every one of these, bound to the very first bone on this drag down menu that you can find and press OK. File and save. Now go to Recent Files, reopen the Footman. Now you will see the geosets have been imported, but their textures are all wrong. We're going to fix that. Go to Windows, MPQ Browser, right click Sorceress.blp, Use as Texture, scroll up, go to Creeps, Human Mage, right click, Use as Texture. Now go to Windows, Material Manager. By default, the footman only has three materials. His armor, his team color, and his body. Right-click the empty field and press Create New. Under Layers, right-click the empty field and press Create New again. Under Texture ID now, go to the drop-down menu and select Sorceress. This has created a new material that references the Sorceress's skin. However, if we use it as is, the tiara will be broken. Go down to Filter Mode and select Transparent. Press OK. It's okay again. Now rotate the camera, zoom in until you, until you can find what appears to be her head. Hold down left control and left click the mesh. Go up to Windows, Geoset Manager. Double click the highlighted Geoset. Go down to Material ID and move through each material until you find the one you've just created. This material ID is randomly generated every time you open the editor, so there's no way to look at the material just out here and know exactly what it is. You will have to go through these. Now go back to Windows, Material Manager, right click, Create New, right click the empty space here, Create New again. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a texture for the Human Mage. Go down to Human Mage, Filter Mode, and set this to Blend. This is important. This will allow Team Color to show through the cape as is proper. Press OK. Right click again, create new, Re use re and here use replaceable ID 1. This is the game's team color. Leave the filter mode as none, check unshaded and two-sided. Unshaded will mean that it will be unaffected by the light in the environment. Two-sided ensures that anything that this texture appears on can be seen from both sides of the model. Press OK. Left control, left click on his mesh, go up to Windows, Geoset Manager, double left click, and find it. All right, we got lucky and found it instantly. Uh, you'll notice that he is bright red. That's the team color. That's not exactly supposed to happen. To fix this, go to Windows, Material Manager, Control left click on his mesh again. This will highlight the material that you've just clicked on. Double click it. Right click the bottom material and move it up. And that fixes that. Now do the same for the cape. Save the model, and move back to MDLVIS. Back in MDLVIS, open the model, go to Modules, Sequence Editor, left-click Bones, 
and select the last three geosets on this list. These are the ones that we've just added. I left click and drag across the entire thing and attach it to a random bone. This will make the model more stable while we work on it. Go back to Modules, Vertex Editor. Now we are going to separate the source's crown. He selects the geosets that you are not working on. Now we will begin carefully deleting the polygons around the mesh in order to get closer to the crown. If at any point you mess up by, say, doing this, you can undo it by holding down Ctrl and pressing Z. And now over to the human mage. This will be a simpler operation, just delete his body and staff. Keep in mind, if you overselect something, such as the cape down here, you can unselect this without losing any of your previous selections by holding down left control and left clicking and dragging over the polygons. Once you're pretty sure you've got them all, press delete. Now we will press control A. This will select all of the polygons on the currently highlighted geosets. Press Show All. With the Move tool selected, hold down left shift on the ZX axis and drag up. Now on the XY axis, drag right. Now XY is forwards and backwards, YZ is left and right, and ZX is up and down. Now we're going to delete the helmet. With the helmet gone, the head is clearly too small. To fix this, first select the geosets that the head is associated with, select all of the polygons, and use the resize tool up here. With dragging to the left will make your selection smaller, dragging to the right will make your selection larger. Hold down left control and left click and drag over these polygons to release them. Back to the X and Y axis, pressing the move tool and moving the head forwards. Much better. Now save the model. Go up to Modules, Sequence Manager, Bones, and this becomes somewhat tricky. Now we must bind our newly attached geosets to the right bones. Press F to go into Wireframe View. Left click and drag over the entire head. Zoom in on the head and rotate your camera somewhat. And down here you'll see a bone that looks right about where it should be for the neck. Click on that. You'll see Bone, unders bone underscore Head, that's correct and bind it. Now grab a bone in the chest and bind the cape to it. And to be safe, select the neck and the back of the hair and bind them as well. And lastly, save your model. Go back to War 3 Model Editor, Recent Files, Footman. Now when you go to Windows, Animation Controller, you will see that now he moves properly. However, you will also notice that during Decay Bone, the newly attached ones are free-floating. To fix this, go to Windows, Geoset Manager, and now if you do this, this will help you manage a bit better. Select Geoset Animation Manager, put this up here. You will notice there's far more geosets than there are animations. A geoset animation is the model data that tells parts of the model to turn invisible, for example, during the Decay Bone. The footman is still here, he's just invisible. However, these three geosets were not told to turn invisible. We're going to do that now. Go to Decay Bone, Stand 1. Hold down Control and left click on the body. This has identified it as Geoset 1. Find the geoset animation here that is tied to Geoset 1. Right here. Now go to Alpha. Select all of these. Control C. Hit OK. Hit OK again. Control left click the new geosets. So we're going to start with the face. That's the bottom geoset here. Right click on an empty space in geoset animations. Create new. Underneath geoset ID, select the highlighted one. Check animated. Go to alpha and paste. Now, the next time we go to decay bone, you will see that his head is gone along with the rest of the body. This is what we were hoping for. Do this again for the cape and the crown. File, save. With this, you have successfully modified the footman and geospliced new objects onto him. Your edit is complete and the model is stable. There's still a lot more we can do here, though. 
I'll be covering that in the next video. Thanks for watching.